Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Honisha. So today in this video, we are going to learn about hyperthyroidism. What is hyperthyroidism? Hyperthyroidism ante ANT, then symptoms ANT, and in the Eros video la chudda. Already oka video chesa no, uh, about the structure of the thyroid gland, uh, blood supply, then yoka shape ela untundi, thyroid gland as like a locate hai untundi, uh, then functions ANT, and also the synthesis of the thyroid hormones. So, the thyroid gland and the synthesis of the thyroid hormones and the kuda, already I have made a video. So, the link in the description box. So, now uh, we are going to learn about hyperthyroidism. So, what is hyperthyroidism? Hyperthyroidism and the name itself saying hyper. Hyper and the more. So, thyroid gland is functions kanna, ante, adi secrete chayavalsina uh, hormones kanna, ekwa secrete chayavalsina functions So that is known as hyperthyroidism. So uh, what are the functions of the thyroid gland? So thyroid gland is a vital um, hormone gland and uh, it plays a major role in metabolism, growth that is the physical and the mental growth and also development of the human body. So I already said that uh, thyroid gland produces uh, the hormones T3 and T4 and also calcitonin into the bloodstream. So functions to some kada. Now uh, the hormones what it secretes. So major ga thyroid gland and in the uh, they secrete T3, T4 and calcitonin. T3 is also known as triiodothyronin uh, that is T3 and thyroxine is T4. So these two hormones are very important for the mental and the physical growth of the body and also calcitonin for the calcium metabolism. So these are the hormones secreted by the thyroid gland. So then is synthesis. So synthesis of the hormone uh, secretions kuda I have uh, provided the link in the description so you can uh, check over it. So now coming to the hyperthyroidism. So manaki e thyroid gland synthesis lo gaani le dhante thyroid uh, gland lo edana changes ochi na pudu. Uh, then major effect is the uh, hormones which it secretes. So thyroid gland man body lo hormones aim secrete chas T3 and T4 hormones. So T3 and T4 hormones are uh, physical growth ki, mental growth ki kuda, these hormones are very useful and also uh, metabolic uh, functions. So man body lo jaragavalsina uh, metabolisms anni kuda, they are partly dependent upon the these thyroid hormones. So the hormones are either increased or decreased secretion of hormones uh, directly depends upon the metabolisms of the body. So, the uh, body changes are start out. Unte. So, now coming to the hyperthyroidism. So, hyperthyroidism anindhi, it is also so like manam hyperthyroidism anindhi, thyroid toxicosis anindhi, e condition. So, the there will be an excess production of the thyroid hormones so it is main ga females lo ekku untundi when compared to the males and e t3 t4 rendu chusukunnattu aithe manaki t3 levels annavi ekku untundi when compared to the t4 to the normal levels of the hormones t3 is 80 to 220 nanograms per dl and t4 normal level level is 0.8 to 2.4 nanograms per dl and tsh is less than 10 milligrams international units per liter uh, normal levels of the thyroid hormones. So hyperthyroidism will choose kuna taite. Manki hyperthyroidism no, T3 and T4 levels increase untai and the TSH thyroid stimulating hormone and the decrease level untundi. So hypothyroidism will choose kuna taite. T3 and T4 levels decrease outai and TSH thyroid stimulating hormone and the increase outundi. So this is the hyperthyroidism. So next coming to the pathogenesis. So, the flow manki causes choose kuna. So, firstly, manki hyperthyroidism route and causes and a carnal AMI untundi. First is Graves disease. So, Graves disease, this is the common uh, disease in which the thyroid hormones and have increased out undi. So, this is one of the condition. So, next condition choose kuna taite toxic multinodular goiter. So, inkuka most uh, frequent uh, cause in to choose kuna taite toxic adenoma. So, manki Graves disease, toxic multinodular goiter and toxic adenoma. So, these three conditions could have the most frequent uh, causes for the hyperthyroidism. So, synthesis of uh, thyroid hormones and they depend upon a pathway that is hypothalamic pituitary thyroid gland pathway. So, this e axis is change. Like 
uh, if in case any uh, pathological uh, changes in the hypothalamus leading to the increase of the TRH. So, when hypothalamus lo unde cells they produce TRH. So, e TRH uh, pituitary anterior pituitary gland lo it stimulates for the secretion of the TSH that is thyroid stimulating hormone. So, any diseases or any complications of the pituitary uh, gland ochinapudu that also uh, makes these TSH levels increase. So, dhani valu kuda manki hyperthyroidism ochche chances unte. So, e hypothalamic pituitary thyroid pathway lo elanti complications ochna sare that may leads to increase of the hormones thus causing hyperthyroidism or thyroid toxicosis. So, so the main cause or the main reason to choose is during pregnancy. So, during pregnancy time, we have a lot of changes in our body during pregnancy time. Hormonal changes are a lot of changes. So, in this time, we have a lot of thyroid, either hyper or hypo or thyroid. So, during pregnancy time and also in the newborns. So, due to some congenital Defects, newborns लोगों का मान कि ये hyperthyroidism हो चाहो का समुंट उन्हें। General का T3 and T4 function same थी यानि they maintain the metabolism of the body and also the physical and the mental growth की कोड़ा मान कि thyroid hormones हैं ना भी useful होते। So coming to the symptoms, signs and symptoms लो choose करना टाइप थे। They have intolerance to the heat. So hyperthyroidism उन्हें वाले कहलाव उन्हें उन्हें टेट they cannot bear the heatness. So, I always wanted to be in cold weathers. So, kunchum weight ta gilna sare, leadante kunchum, kunchum climate conditions hot ga unna sare, they can't bear it. So, this is due to increased basal metabolic rate. Because there is an increase in the thyroid hormones. So, thyroid hormones body lo increase ayana pudu, avi chese functions kura automatic ga increase avute. So, dhanu vala there will be an increased metabolic rate. So, this increased basal metabolic rate will be done in our body functions and our body functions and our body functions and intensity of the rate is going to gradually increase. So, this is why we develop all these symptoms like intolerance of heat because of there is an increased metabolic rate and also increased sweating due to vasodilatation and also increased also, hyperthyroidism low, uh, decreased body weight, undi, increased fat metabolism. Undi. So, T3, T4 levels increase out of there will be an increase in the metabolism of the body. So, mana body lo jari, any metabolism uh, then activity increase out of So, in the same way, the fat metabolism also increases. So, undi, in spite of uh, increased or the normal hunger. So, undi, maybe maybe increase of the normal ga in spite of that, they will lose weight. So, weight loss, hyperthyroidism, lo, mana body lo activities anni kuda, ekku jargatam valla, they will be losing the weight. And also, diarrhea unthundi due to increased motility of the GI tract. So, as I already told, mana body lo jarge functions anni kuda increase avute. So, dhinu valla, there will also be diarrhea and also muscular weakness so muscular weakness so this is also due to increased protein metabolism muscular weakness uh, so ante kunchum pani chesina sare neersam feel aitharu ekkuva pani cheyaleru ekku daram nadavaleru so easy ga exhaust avutu untaru hyperthyroidism patients so why because protein increase of the protein catabolism so protein metabolism kuda increase avutundi so there will be muscular weakness so hyperthyroidism lo uh, there will be an excess stimulation of the nervous system. So, nervous system lo uh, excess stimulation of the uh, patient feel nervousness, extreme fatigue, inability to sleep. So, while night time nidhar pataka potam and uh, chinna trimmer untundi and hands kuda chinna shakiness untundi. So, these are all due to excess stimulation of the nervous system. So, the main symptom of uh, hyperthyroidism is amenorrhea untundi. Amenorrhea is absence of menstruation. So, we will have irregular periods for every 2 months or 3-4 months or 1 months period route of amenorrhea. So, amenorrhea is also one of the symptoms and the main symptom for hyperthyroidism. So, these are the signs and symptoms of hyperthyroidism. And in the symptom, so in the sign of the symptom is exophthalmus. So, exophthalmus is the symptom of the eyeballs and the bite is the protrude. So, this is another condition for the hyperthyroidism. 
so these are the signs and symptoms for the hyperthyroidism so this is all about hyperthyroidism so hypothyroidism and i will uh, make it in another video so if you like the video please do subscribe to my channel thank you